I know Governor Perry, we actually served together as governors uh, for uh, seven years, and uh, I understand how uh, often legislators and, and governors are um, unhappy with what they see to, as a rigid federal bureaucracy. I think what has changed, um, I, and we hear this all the time all over the country, is coming into this office from the office of governor, um, we are really working actively to be flexible with states, to be as state friendly as possible. I would say, in, in spite of the uh, myths out there that the Affordable Care Act is one of the most state friendly bills that's been written in my legislative and gubernatorial experience, because it really starts with the assumption that the state um, not only figures out at each step along the way if they want to run a high risk pool, if they're going to operate the exchange, uh, how the system works, but every step along the way comes with resources. That's not a typical federal pattern. So I think while there's a, a lot of conversation, Texas has an enormous amount to gain. Texas has one of the highest uninsured rates in the country. Um, they have a lot of folks who are in less than optimum health conditions because uh, they're suffering from chronic illnesses, which can be really prevented with tobacco cessation efforts and more um, obesity efforts. Uh, money is flowing from the federal government to help those initiatives at the local level. In fact, I'm on my way from here to San Antonio, where one of the most effective communities putting prevention to work projects is is in place. So I think there's a there's a lot of partnership effort going on and our goal like the state goal is better health and lower costs and I think we we have a pathway to get there. Well, certainly Medicare is an entirely federal program. So uh, let's start there. That is is very unlikely to ever happen. Um, Medicaid is a state-federal partnership where the state provides a portion of the funds, the feds provide the, the majority of the funds. Um, I think that what we're eager to do is, is have flexible approaches. Uh, what is unlikely to happen is to provide money and not ask that that money be tied to providing care to the most vulnerable populations. Medicaid covers lots of children pregnant women, the most disabled and vulnerable citizens in every state. And those populations, I think, are relying on the health care financing from the federal and state. So um, we're eager to work with states to find ways to reduce costs, to give them flexibility. But just sending big checks and saying, make whatever decisions you want um, as a way of dealing with that money is, is not a likely outcome. Well, the way the Affordable Care Act is written, states have the option to put an exchange in place for the state. So step one is the state. If the state decides, as Governor Perry seems to have done, at least for now, that um, he will cede that authority, then the federal government is um, or, uh, required to step in and put an exchange together. So Texans have the opportunity to have affordable, available health care. Um, really, the decision has to be made finally by 2012. And if indeed Texas has continued to decide not to run an exchange, we at Health and Human Services will put together a federal exchange that will be available to the qualifying citizens of Texas and give small business owners, individuals purchasing insurance on their own, a lot of people who don't have insurance right now because they don't have it through their employers, a way to get competitive prices, be in a large pool, and have some financial help if they qualify for it to buy health insurance. Well, I think, I think privacy and patient safety are, are kind of number one priorities. Uh, electronic me medical records can produce better medical care by allowing doctors to coordinate. We know that it reduces patient errors, and that's a very good thing. But certainly, 
having the privacy protection so someone's personal medical information cannot be lost or shared or given away or stolen by someone and making sure that patients uh, have no harm as a result of this has always been baked into the system. So as we create a national platform, as we create a interchanges where doctors and hospitals will be able to not only talk to one another, but patients will have access to their own medical records. Uh, having health privacy as the top priority is, is always been the criteria. Certainly having leaders who are working as active partners is helpful. Uh, what I find though throughout this state is that there are lots of people who are eager to be partners. So we are working actively with healthcare providers, with consumer advocates, with local leaders and mayors and city commissioners and um, a lot of patients who are eager to make sure that uh, in Texas, there is an opportunity for better health care at lower costs and, and higher quality. Those are the initiatives underway. And so I think um, there are certainly members of the legislature who are very eager to see that happen. There are members of the congressional delegation who are very enthusiastic about that. And we, you know, we will work with uh, the governor and with his team in whatever ways uh, he chooses to, to work with us. Uh, we want to be good partners at the state level.